What's up, scouters? So I know that the demographics of my viewers is pretty diverse. So it's really hard for me to estimate how much the coronavirus is affecting you. But in Korea, the coronavirus is definitely the hottest keyword, especially because Korea is one of China's closest neighbors and one of the Chinese people's favorite tourist destinations. So in this video, let me tell you how Korea is being affected by the coronavirus and how Korea is handling the situation. Over the Lunar New Year's holidays, it was estimated that about 130,000 Chinese tourists visited Korea. Now, this was roughly around the time the coronavirus started breaking out, so the tensions here were high. I mean, I've told you in a video before that on a day with heavy fine dust, you'll see that at least 70% of the people walking outside are wearing masks like this. But right now, the moment you walk outside, it's harder to find someone who isn't wearing a mask. A mask has literally become as important as a smartphone for everyone here. But before the coronavirus, if you forgot your mask, it was very easy to go buy one for a cheap price. But apparently, the press is reporting that there is a huge mask shortage as Chinese businessmen and tourists have purchased a mass amount of masks in Korea. And so apparently, it has become difficult to get quality masks within the last few days or so. Of course, I'm a very prepared guy and I always have my box of masks with me, so I can't really relate to the problem. My friend who forgot his mask today visited a pharmacy to buy a mask only to hear the answer that they were sold out of masks. And just note that a pharmacy running out of masks here in Korea was something that I never saw coming. And this is probably why the government is handing out free masks at buses and subways to the citizens. Other than the significant increase in the mask usage of citizens, a lot of other things have been affected by the coronavirus. For example, February is generally when school graduations are held in Korea because school years usually start in March and end in December. However, graduates of this year are very unlucky because a lot of schools are canceling their graduation ceremonies. Likewise, the military has announced that family members and friends cannot accompany newly drafted soldiers as it raises the chances of the virus spreading. And in a similar logic has forbid soldiers from leaving for vacation. And if I may digress for a little bit, this same thing happened to me when I was in the military. It was about time for my first vacation after spending about four months in the military. And note that I was waiting desperately for this vacation. I think I've had like butterflies in my stomach for about two weeks. But approximately three days before the start of my vacation, the military forbid soldiers from leaving the base to prevent the spread of MERS, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome that was going around Korea at the time. But going back to the main topic, people are avoiding any crowded areas in general. This is a picture of Lotte World, an amusement park in Seoul during their normal business days. This is Lotte World now. This is Everland, another amusement park on a regular business day. This is Everland now. And I mean not just amusement parks. As for me, I usually love going to the public bathhouse near my home at least once a week. But now, it's true, I kind of don't feel comfortable visiting places like that. And everyone else must feel the same way because every time I walk past the bathhouse, I can see that the parking lot is completely empty. Currently, there are about 17 confirmed cases here in Korea. These confirmed patients have obviously been isolated in various hospitals around the nation. But in big populated cities like we have in Korea, we don't know how many people they may have potentially spread the virus to. And virus is spread very quickly. So I think it's always good to take the precaution step. We even have a website here in Korea called the Corona Map. The website basically shows the visitors where the confirmed patients have visited and the number of people they have contacted in that area. Lucky for me, I haven't visited anywhere in the last few days where the confirmed patients have visited. So I think I would say that I'm pretty safe in case you guys were worried. And I mean like anywhere else in the world, people here are shocked over this unknown virus and some people are even pointing fingers and maybe taking out their frustration by expressing their xenophobia. But I mean guys, as much as I would hate getting the coronavirus, I think that should never be the answer. Anyhow, I hope everyone watching this video will be safe from the virus. Even if you're thinking to yourself, like my friend who I talked to about 15 minutes ago, Yo James, I'm sure the coronavirus is just like a really bad flu for young people like us. The press is definitely blowing it out of proportion. We don't have to be so worried. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda agree with you, but I don't even want a regular flu. What makes you think I want a really bad flu? Jokes aside, just be careful guys. Always keep safe and healthy. And if you can and you do live in a place with a confirmed coronavirus patient, wear a mask like this. I know some people in different countries don't feel comfortable wearing masks like this because it was never like a fashion item, but it's better than getting a really bad flu, right? If you found this interesting or I answer some of your questions, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. Until then guys, see you next time.